did that? Yeah. And then it's a terrible idea. I would have talked you out of it. It's not even possible. To do, like, it's a five block. The stairs are oversized, and it, it's probably like what three feet wide. On the left side, you fall ten feet, and it sucks. On the right side, you literally die. You should have knowledge, dude. I, mean, I was thinking switch front 180. I was like, no. dude, this is actually really doable. It's doable, but you don't want to land cockeyed and get pitched forward no, and then also die. Just go back three. Back Fake, three. You know what? Fake you more heal, dude. Just flog it. Just yeah, I just cap flip. That's a safe one. My whole life now, I'm just trying to prove that I'm a real pro skateboarder. That's, that's you're gonna be proving that for the rest of your life, and you're never gonna satisfy anyone. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. I actually was gonna ask you that question. What is a pro skater? Even though like there's so many definitions out there. Here, okay. Well, there, there's th here's the real way to break it down. Here, here's how I really look at it. I think the skateboard industry is two separate entities now. I think yeah. it is. This side, which is like kind of direct to consumer, influencery, uh, very inclusive, and then there's this over here, the gatekeeping, prove yourself, and this side over here will accept uh, you just being such a big name and being such an influencer. They'll put your name on a board because they know it's going to sell, and you could be a good influence on kids, which is good. It's, it's, it's all good stuff. And this side over here says, "Fuck that side. You better be able to do like NBDs and keep up with like you know the hierarchy of skating." But if you really look at what skating is. If you look at it from their perspective, it's more of a sport, right? That's like it's, true. It's, they're core. It's, it's 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 sporty over here and over here. It's subjective, which is more on the craft slash art side. I consider skateboarding a craft more than an art, but regardless. So I land on this side. You're on this side, but you don't suck, so you're kind of closer to the middle. I'm dude. I'm off the fucking chart. No, what are you talking? I'm on the fucking kook side. He's I'm a, getting a pro he, model board, and I don't. I haven't skated a hand around in like a year. He's so. a veteran. Yeah, that's, that's, what, that's how old I am. <laughs> Hey. I get the veteran's yeah, discount, not because I've done anything on a skateboard. Just board side the hand drill and you'll be chilling. Dude, that's it. The only thing they should determine going pro is if you beat skate three in a day, you can go pro. <laughs> that, all the challenges, I think that's the way to go pro. Yeah? Beat skate three in a day. Like, the idea of influencers has been around for a while. I mean, it's in the main industry, it's just now it's not in their hands, and I think they don't like that. So, I'm not a fake pro. I'm not a real pro. No, I'm a, a mid pro. pro? No, I, I would say that pro is pro. It just depends on who defines you. I mean, one person will say that you might not be pro and another person will. It's like, you didn't turn yourself pro, and I think that's the only pro you should avoid. You're if you right. turn yourself pro, that's the only one that I think is like I was trying to deny like. it the whole time. I was like, I don't want to do this. I yeah. don't want to do this. Yeah. I was like, I already knew the heat. I was yeah. like, this is, I could feel the burning on my back. Yeah, but fuck the heat. Who cares? At the end of the day, can you put food on the table for your family? That's all that matters. If you can do that, that's all, that's all I care about. I don't, I, you don't have to earn anything, in my opinion, in the sense of how good you are. I think earning your right in skateboarding via not just influence, but like how you actually impact people positively, I think is just as important. That's my opinion. What do you think, Capri Sun? He said skate three yeah. in a day. Oh, that's skate three. So if me and you play skate, will it be an unsanctioned battle of the barracks game of skate? Yes. Are you both in the battle of the barracks? No. So let's do it. I don't to play. All right, cool. I was in Legion of Doom, dude. You were in Legion of Doom? Yeah, in 2019, we played PJ Lad, and then we had to fake letting him win. All right, Ray just put out his hands. Oh, well, that's he, great. he just challenged me right now, and I did. win or lose, I'm not going to just back out. It looked like you were. Ready? I am ready. All right, we're going to play a game of skate.
He's what? He's a whack. What's a, really a whack? whack? You know, that guy who takes steroids and calls out Manny's that scrape. <laughs> That's whack. The worst dude. The worst dude. Oh, that was sick. Oh, I heard it. Oh, I heard it again. I heard it twice. Twice? Yeah, you're blowing it, Dan. I thought you were core. Oh, I didn't even lock in either. <laughs> it says he's core, but he didn't lock in. I don't know. Dude. This looks sick. 1-800-DOS-PINCH violation. What? <laughs> what? 1-800-DOS-PINCH violation. Alright bro, that was nice finally meeting you in person. Thanks. Everyone go support Ray, he's going to be in the next Battle of the Barracks, it's amazing. I got to play him, I know now what it takes to be in the Battle of the Barracks, it's fucking yeah, wild. It's pretty easy, apparently. Nah, <laughs> he was letting me win. Thanks, thank you. Alright, you're welcome. You're welcome. Uh, We're out here with Dan, Dan taught me what a real pro is. As stated in the beginning of the conversation we had, I may be in the mid, so no, you, you can, pro. I want to say that you remind me of Coach Frank from Skate 3. Like, in the best way possible, because, like, you're not letting anything slide by. No. And you're, like, really putting it out there. Like, you're, you're, you're enforcing, like, skating good in your way. Yeah, yeah, and, like, yeah. some people miss, might find it, like, misunderstanding, but I see it. Because, like, I, I'm in that same generation. I, well, I, what I really feel like people misunderstand is the vast majority of the things that I say are satire of the opinion that my generation has. Like, yeah. I really don't give a shit. I think... You are pro. I think what makes a pro skater pro skater is what you have. You're good at skating. 
and you have an audience. Uh, but I just like talking shit and stirring the pot. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll talk shit just as much on Thrasher as I'll talk shit on Braille to, you know, my boss, who happens to be uh, 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 Andy Schrock. <laughs> Andy Schrock's my boss. boss. Oh. Yeah, and my boss is Andy Schrock, so it's just like, I got no room to talk, but I certainly pretend I do, because I just, I just talk a lot of shit. I don't know. Yeah, so thank you. I, coming from a core skater's perspective, I appreciate your opinion. I like that, that you still consider me a core skater. I'm you tr- are. I'm trying so hard to sell out, and it's really hard to dip. So. Fucking core, dude. You didn't believe it? Fucking look at this hair, dude. You think you get that by fucking going to fucking YouTube, dude? <laughs> what the fuck?